Hi, Lester from Wushu Engineer here, um, introducing one of my latest projects, <coughs> which is um, investigation into uh, titanium cookery. Um, there's been a lot of discussion recently on uh, internet forums and uh, on YouTube channels about weapons and the weight of uh, said weapons. Um, there's been a lot of discussion about how weapons need to be a particular weight in order for them to be effective. Um, and uh, I agree with that to a great extent. But I'd like to introduce uh, the concept that there are actually other ways of producing force, perhaps uh, slightly more refined or slightly, slightly different ways of producing force that, that make the weight of the weapon less less important to um, the amount of force that you're producing at the end of the day, and by uh, introduction to uh, uh, to that line of, of research, what what I've done is I've I've uh, constructed this uh, this kukri um, out of titanium. A titanium, a, as you may know, is about uh, just over half as dense as steel, so. Um, an equivalent uh, an equivalent volume of uh, steel would uh, would weigh um, nearly nearly twice as much as as, as the, the equivalent volume of titanium. Now, in, in this case, there are a couple of uh, a couple of factors that have made it difficult for me to essentially just half the weight of the weapon. And one of those factors is the is the way that I um, the way that I constructed the handle and uh, handle scales. It's a full tang, full width tang um, handle with, with scales on either side, which means that uh, when compared with a traditional steel cookery, the, uh, the full tang construction in traditional steel cookery is actually a pin tang which, which goes right down through the center of a, a hollow wooden or bone handle. So considerably less material there than what I have right now. In addition, uh, the Titanium, as you can see, is, is quite thick. It's uh, uh, just over seven seven moles thick, um, considerably thicker than the steel kukri that I that I did a comparative test with uh, against this kukri. Although the the size and the and the shape are, are roughly the same, uh, the um, the weight of this titanium kukri is is only marginally less than the steel kukri. But the one a point of difference that is quite uh, quite apparent is the the point of um, point of balance, which, as you can see in this titanium cookery, is is very close to the very close to the handle, which is different to a uh, steel cookery, which has uh, traditional steel cookery, I should say, which has the point of balance much further along the blade, which lends itself more to a uh, a cleaver style um, a cleaver style usage, which. You know, the, the, t the cookery does see a lot of, cu of, of cutting use. Um, so what I did was a comparative, a series of comparative tests between the steel and the titanium cookery, and you'll see those tests later in the video. You'll notice that uh, there's some quite there's some quite interesting results that have come out of that, and one of them is that um, in terms of cutting potential, the titanium cookery was at least as good as the steel cookery, but in terms of in terms of uh, speed of, uh, of of reflex action with the cookery, uh, with the titanium cookery, I should say, it uh, significantly outperformed the steel cookery due to its nimbler point of balance, which I find quite interesting. This is not a definitive proof of anything, but what I'd like to what I'd like to do with this video is to introduce the the the, the concept of kinetic chain um, mechanics, where I'm I'm using a I'm using a, a dynamic kinetic chain through my body to produce force at, at, in particular locations. In this case, through a weapon, which means that the weight of this weapon is is less important than if I was just using the acceleration of my arm and the weight of the weapon to do damage. In addition to the titanium cookery itself, what I also did was to take the traditional cookery sheath and uh, do my own take on it, which, which is to essentially turn it into a small, a small buckler or, or, or um, bracer or shield. Uh, I have a sandwich construction um, built into this 
uh, this sheath, which essentially layers of uh, UV stabilized uh, poly sheet with some interspersed layers of high density um, high density foam. And in addition to that, I have a layer of two millimeter thick titanium at the base. So you'll also notice in the in the the, the technical testing video, which is essentially just a series of um, spontaneous and uh, unchoreographed sparring um, uh, or technique sessions with, uh, with my partner, you'll notice that, um, that it, it works quite effectively along with the, with the kukri. And to, to my interest as well, I've just recently uncovered that the, the kukri was traditionally used along with a, with a small buckler um, historically as well, uh, which, uh, w w which, makes it which makes it interesting bringing it perhaps into a more modern context using more modern materials. Um, what I would like to do in future is to produce more videos of this nature, investigating some more of the, tra uh, more of the traditional Chinese um, w w weapons associated with traditional wushu, and perhaps taking a more technological um, turn towards using, uh, using more, uh, more modern materials, perhaps to lighten them, and, and once again to try to prove, um, or at least to suggest that there is the possibility to produce more force uh, through, uh, through, through particular types of training um, associated with traditional wushu than it is just to rely on the weight of the weapon. Thank you. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video.